The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge weathered constant pregnancy rumors even before they were married almost 20 months ago. Fans are ecstatic now that the couple has finally announced they're expecting their first child, and it's for real this time. Since that royal duty is done, Prince William and Kate Middleton's future, third in line to the throne heir, already faces a very strict preordained path. It's a path that is now equal opportunity, and it's all thanks to efforts to scrap that centuries-old rule that gave male heirs succession rights to the throne, even if the firstborn was a girl. The Duke and Duchess will start prepping their newborn for life in the monarchy immediately, just as Prince Charles and Princess Diana once did with William and his younger brother Harry. But first, this child needs a name. Following tradition, the baby will most likely be the namesake of a previous monarch, though Prince Eustace or Princess Matilda doesn't quite roll off the tongue like Prince Philip or even Princess Anne. Unfortunately, growing up with more rules than normal will probably seem like a royal pain, especially behind palace gates with great grandma. At dinner, if Queen Elizabeth stops eating, everyone's done. And forget oysters, mussels, and clams. Royals are never served shellfish for fear, they'll contract food poisoning. But the most important requirement for Kate Williams' offspring is perhaps the least fun. Always be the perfect royal family representative, despite how Uncle Harry may have acted in the past. For The Wall Street Journal, this is Aaron Rasmussen.